Hi Gemini, welcome to your special retrograde forecast. Now this is um, past life reading for singles, okay? And for those who can relate to this, even if you're already committed or married, then okay, that's good. Alright, so let's take a look, Gemini, what are the past life lessons that you need to learn, that you need to be aware of, some karmic debts, and some lessons of the past that you need to be aware of, awaken, you need to realize, you know, especially if you're stuck in a past ex relationship uh, situation that just keeps on rolling over and over again, you know. Um, there are actually reasons why there are some people in our lives that we feel so stuck to, you know, or some people that we feel so uh, strongly connected or strongly hooked up or something like that, even though they're very toxic to be with. But sometimes we don't really understand why is it that I can't let go or I can't free myself up from this person. So let's take a look what's in it in your past life. What are the uh, ooh, karmic relationships? Speaking of karma. Baby. All right. You've had a child. Imprisonment and slavery. Love life. Knighthood. Trust and face. I'll be pulling out um, three cards later on for the last clarification, okay? But it seems like your love life I've already uh, shown here. Deception. Okay, Gemini, if you have some problems with your commitment, or if you have some problems committing to, you know, other people or other relationships, and if you have the big insecurity issues as well. Alright, Gemini, you are a very intuitive person or intuitive um, individual, okay? But then again, I feel like you have suffered from an unrequited love and you lived as a Red American or a Red Indian, okay, in the past, or Native American. Now, the person that you um, got involved with is somebody that uh, it has been fixed to you and you had a baby, okay, or you had a child together. But then you broke the rules because you're naturally a rebel and you want to fight for what you feel like is right. You want to set yourself free, practice your freedom, exercise your rights. And because of that, you were incarcerated, you were punished because at that point, you know, disobeying the rules in your community, city, tribe, or whatever it is, it is highly forbidden. That's why you were, you know, pulled away from your family, from your spouse, or from, uh, from your child or children. And this is what, you know, this is actually what, um, well, drove you crazy about, um being with uh, some people now the thing here is in your current life right now you don't have any problems with your mother or father uh, most of you are actually came from a very good family you know some of you okay this is a general reading some of you or most of you even your parents are not that divorced you know even your grandparents they've uh, they've been together for such a long period of time but what is it that with you when it comes to you, you have that strong fear or you have that big issues about being with someone or someone being with you, 
right now you're very successful in your own chosen endeavor but the problem here is pe the people that you're always been with or the people that you uh, get involved with have that strong feeling of controlling you holding you down to your neck or even grasping your balls okay it's like you know whenever you're with someone they want to control you treat you like a strength puppet and that is something that you cannot really tolerate because you feel like you want to express your own self your own creativity your own individuality that even though you're already with somebody or even you're already married you know at the time comes that you're already ready to really com commit you still want to um have that sense of independency okay or a sense of uh, non-codependency with someone and you still want to you know have that space is sorry have that own private space away from your uh, you know from your relationship or spouse because sometimes you just want to be alone or you just want to have some time for yourself but unfortunately the people that you got involved with in the past okay they always want to hold you down they always want to control you they always want to manipulate you and that's why things did not really work out the way it is deemed to work this way now the one that you're going to be ending up with or your real soulmate is someone that you will have some karmic connections karmic lessons and um uh, karmic situations as well okay that you will s somehow feel that this is the right one now i feel like the one that you are going to be finding or meeting um it's a little bit um opposed to you okay uh, the way they were brought up is very different from you and i feel like this person is a little bit crazy you know or a little bit uh not really crazy in a in a literal sense but i feel like they are a little bit um uh, more like they control freaks okay well you love controlling as well but this is more or worse and your love life right now the reason why it's not really working out because it, it is because of your past life um lessons okay your karmic lessons in the past that you need to learn that you need to heed and you're also afraid of um having a child or having some children or you do have some issues about being a parent okay and you you just want to have a simple life a simple quiet and well but a little bit laid back life okay you want to have that extravagance and uh simplicity and you don't really want to overcrowd yourself with too much of um fake people because you were once um it's like your life and your your destiny has been told or has been dictated by some other people to the extent that they want to you know um remove you out of your own will or out of your own uh rights or exercise it and you also served as a knighthood or you also served as a like um you know in the law enforcement or like a guard or a knight in a, in a palace during the time and there are some um there are some things that you need to be a little bit more thankful for you know as part of your growth and as part of your existence you just need to have some trust and faith and as i've said you do have some big trust issues and insecurity issues as well and sometimes you don't really believe in yourself or you don't even believe in life or universe now you were engaged or you were you got committed in the past with somebody that is a little bit different from you either different religion different ethnicity language or something like that okay or biracial or something like that and that person have deceived you or yeah or well there's too much more of a fakeness and situation because as i've said you were only fixed okay and uh, it seems like those people thought that they can just dictate your destiny or they can just will it out of their hands you know whoever you're going to be with because they feel like they know what's best or that you know that is what's in the tradition or something like that but you want to wait the one that is worth waiting for so because you feel like you deserve to love and those kind of things or those kind of mindset in the past it is highly unacceptable okay practicing or especially if you're a woman in your past life 
and you have wished and called out for your soulmates and uh, some of the people that's been surrounding you they are they forbid it or they're not really you know agree to what you're saying or to what you are uh, doing so they have given you that the warning and advice but you did not really uh, listen to them you also need to learn how to express yourself in a relationship instead of expressing more of your fears expressing more of your traumas or expressing more of your issues what's more important is for you to experience that harmony and love is for you to be a little bit more uh, conscientious and uh, considerate okay and also be i mean take the uh, other person's feelings and um, whatever they're going to feel in a situation about your decision you know into consideration as well and don't practice codependency now what you're supposed to be at this point okay there's cool you have that gift of knowledge and it seems like hmm, you can actually lead young people you know and to share them your wisdom and your knowledge and experiences or you can also be a, an instructor or own up a school you know there is a call for your career change you also have some talent in music and arts and um, i feel like you also have that knack for writing or blogging because you have a very creative mind as i've said that you have you know you always thirst and quench for knowledge like reading books this is how you thirst this is how you quench your thirst for you know for new um new lessons children don't be afraid of uh, having a big family or don't be afraid of having more children because you are you can be a good parent as well and builder you love building things okay you love working with your hands you are looking for a career that will require you know all types of movements mind body heart physical aspects traveling here and there because you get so bored easily okay so it's, you're almost the same as taurus and the options are already right in front of you you have the strength of a strong leader so most likely that you are supposed to be on your own okay or you're most likely you know better if you're going to be self-employed or if you'll be working for yourself only because you have some problems following and heeding other people's rules or leaving you know uh, living or following their policies their standards their rules their their regulations it's like you want to free yourself up from this you hate rules okay so there's three clarification cards for that see so th the the cards of the past life cards i've also showed about uh, something about writing and you're supposed to write as well you know during this uh, during at this time or during in your waking life right now leaving your travel see and atlantis you're one of the advanced people or advanced uh citizens okay so that's the reason why that you sometimes you feel like you are you know better than other people or sometimes you feel like you are far better than other people because you have already gone through that you've known that you've studied it you know or you could be one of those first people um in the past who already used computer right before it's time okay anyway so that's it for you for this retrograder for this month in gemini if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you